Yeah, we've been using um, the XN system since about 2012 now. Um, and we've been using it for project work and supporting kind of a high performance system in terms of athlete understanding and movement profiles. But we've really formed a really close relationship probably in the last 18 months with, with XNs and I'm and really fortunate enough now to be using kind of the second generation of, of suit. So XNs has basically given us access to um, joint kinematics, um, technical refinement, uh, which is um, the be all and end all really for this sport. It's a highly technical and complex uh, skill um, governed by unique forces um, on, the, on the athletes in both the straights and the corners. Uh, previously, we wouldn't really have access to that on the basis that uh, gold standard 3D joint kinematics, um, you need uh, a large number of cameras, um, quite a lot of time, calibration time, whereas this gives us full access to world-class athletes on the ice, which has never really been uh, happened before. Really. It's, it's such a great tool for us in biomechanics because it allows us to really get into environments like this where we're not confined to the lab where we can set up, can only set up kind of cameras and 3D systems inside. So the, the XN system allows us to take 3D motion capture outside into environments like this or be it on water for, for rowing or whatever it may be but actually really capture some real-time footage in three dimensions of the human movement um, throughout the whole duration of the, the, the event. Sport is governed by basically trying to uh, maximize the ratio between power output uh, of, of the skater on the ice and their push and minimizing um, frictional losses due to drag as well. Um, so again, making those technical refinements in, in technique, in the push, in the corners, aerodynamic profiles, which XSENS gives us access to, we'd like to think they should be able to skate a little bit quicker. The traditional kind of 3D motion capture, we use reflective markers, which we place on, on uh, specific segments of the body, which is really quite difficult to do in such a dynamic movement like this, where we're spread out over quite a large environment space or volume. Um, so we don't really have to track anything because everything's been captured by the suit that's being worn by the athlete. So it allows us to have that freedom um, and flexibility in terms of, okay, how do we get a better understanding of the movement profiles of those individuals throughout the whole duration of the movement as opposed to these small sections that we traditionally have had to kind of do our best with. Every sport is always going to say theirs is unique and there's a lot of challenges but with us we have um, the, the factors about lean and drag and aerodynamics so um, skaters don't just go in a straight line, cornering for us is critical um, and because of whether we put more pressure on the ice we dig in and cause more friction and how much we lean as we go around the corners um, all interacts with our like centrifugal and centripetal forces. So um, historically we've tried to look at these things um, and look at racing lines and the distance that we cover on the track um, but it's been with accelerometers and um, it's been two-dimensional whereas the XN suit and what the EIS has been able to bring with, um, with bringing this technology to the sport means we can get real-time information um, and we can look at multi-factors so we're not just looking at the the angle at the ankle and the knee but we're also looking at the the lean as they go around the corner um, and we're looking at that real time and we're looking at it step by step stride by stride um, and fundamentally we're looking at it on an individual basis so you can see today we've got um, boys and girls podium and podium potential athletes all skating together at the same time um, and what we're able to do by putting the XN suit on each skater is understand biomechanically what they're doing um, and the interaction with then coaches coaches can have more confidence in what they're delivering, the technical corrections, and like our skaters are quite um, like the numbers, like the figures, um, like the times, um, and so working in angles and accuracies around biomechanics, they, they love, and, and that helps give them some evidence base to it. Technique is the most important thing in our sport. You know, you could be the strongest person out there, but if you can't skate, that's a big issue. So, I mean, we're always looking to improve our technique in every little way possible because it's all about the 1% gains. So, I mean, every little bit counts for us. Um, I think every, when you look at short track, the, the nature of it, it's kind of pack racing, but um, 
the technical efficiency on ice is really central to um, to the performance gains and what the XN suit is allowing us to do is to look at our technical model um, understand where we can make technical corrections or advances and even some of our skaters who've been skating for for 10 years plus we're still able to recommend or look at the, the data coming out the XN suit and go yeah actually we need you to sit a bit lower um, allowing you to get a bigger push or actually your push is backwards and not to the side so um, so we're still able to make those technical corrections uh, and I do think that will play out when it comes to Pyeongchang because they're the they're the marginal gains the one percenters the, the things that everybody talks about but we're doing it and we're able to access it mentally it's really good because it's the actual the visual feedback helps a lot sometimes you you can consciously think you know oh well I'm trying to make these changes and I'm not actually sure if they're working or not, but here, you know, like I said, with the visual feedback, you can see instantly, you can see, right, well, I've actually been focusing on that, and you can see it, it's evident, the, ev the change is evident. So, I mean, um, yeah, it's been really handy, and I think, I think almost everybody's got a chance to use it now, and uh, like, we've all had very similar feedback, so. It's exciting, to be honest, there's, um, we, we, get, we get given new questions every day because it's, um, the sport has never had access to this type of, um, of objective information, really. And, and as applied sports biomechanists, we're looking to um, inform um, and, and refine technique with the help of the coaches and the senior management, um, but ultimately support. Uh, that's what we're there to do, um, and that's what the, the IS thankfully have given us access to do that.